Hey, Dan. Week, ooh, spotlight. Week seven, excuse me, day seven. Feels like seven weeks. Uh, and this is the end of our trip. Today's the last day. It's um, about 10 o'clock at night. We are getting up at 6 a.m. Going to have breakfast, and we're going to take off tomorrow morning. Um, we got a lot of video from the week and that I will put together um, sometime in the next six months and um, post that. But um, it actually kind of ended on a pretty good note today. We had dinner at Red Lobster with Greg and Devin and Olivia, Preston, well, all our kids, Beth and me and my mom and dad, and it actually went pretty well. Um, it was really funny. At one point, Preston turned to Olivia and said, your last name is Halleck too? Um, which was, anyway, pretty funny. Um, uh, you know, obviously I've tried to cover, over the, cover up over the years that Greg was actually related to me, um, at least that we had the same last name, and unfortunately it's out, Preston knows, now everyone will know. But uh, I guess the story of the week is the transmission. I don't know if I talked about that um, in my last video or two. Um, but um, we've been having transmission problems with the Odyssey. I don't know if I, I think I might have told you about that, but it's something that is endemic. Uh, maybe it's the right word. If it's not, let me know. Two Odysseys. They um, um, they tend to have a. I think it's a gasket that that leaks. So anyway, it's. Um, oh, hold on. There we go. Um, they. Um, they tend to leak and they tend to shift badly at, at really low gears and low speeds. And I just, the engine, the check engine light came on about a week before, maybe two weeks before we left, and we had it checked about a week before we left. And they said it had something to do with the transmission, but we'd have to actually go to Honda to have them stick it on the computers to tell us exactly what it is. But uh, um, needless to say, I didn't do that. We just had it topped off with transmission fluid. Um, and um, Actually, the worst this transmission has ever been has been on this trip, um, wouldn't you know it. it. We've got down here okay, um, although we had some real problems in Chattanooga, um, actually just even starting out. But um, it's been getting uh, kind of progressive. Oh, so anyway, so we got down all the way to Atlanta, down here, right next to, literally right next to the hotels and auto place, so I went, took it over there. They drained all the fluid, put new fluid in. But uh, it got to where the low gears are slipping so badly. Oh, but wait a minute. Let me step back. So anyway, so we've been driving this thing around Atlanta for six days. I mean, all around Smyrna, Marietta, Cobb County, Fulton County, Atlanta. And uh, we drove all the way down to the Coke Museum yesterday. Was that just yesterday, Beth? Yes. Yeah, yesterday. Got all the way back up here with really very little problems. It seemed like it was, you know, the transmission was getting better. Um, obviously, you always get better just before you die. Um, and we were going to a barbecue place for dinner. I had all the kids in, my dad and I. And we got to a traffic light on Highway 41, which is a really busy stretch. And um, that kind of goes straight up from Atlanta through Smyrna, Marietta. And we were at a, a left turn lane. I had probably 10 cars behind me. And the car would not go. Simply would not move. Uh, it was like I could rev it. It was in drive and I could rev it and it was not going anywhere. It's like, oh my gosh. You know, my dad's freaking out. I'm just quietly freaking out. We're both quietly freaking out because that's the kind of freaking out people we are. I, of course, I was wishing that, um, you know what, I'm going to say something that was not nice. I'm not going to say it. Um, anyway, um, and um, and I was eventually able to put it into reverse and have it catch a gear and put it back into drive and go. But I couldn't, as soon as it started to shift, it would um, it would die. So, I mean, not die, excuse me. As soon as it shifted into the next higher gear, it would slip and it would just, it was like it was going into neutral. Um, and um, so we got back home last night. I parked it. Um, Dad and I went out this morning, got some transmission fluid, and of course I had to get tools and a, and a funnel because it's a, I had to get um, like a 10 inch extension on this ratchet, and then I had to get an 18 inch breaker bar. I don't know what a breaker bar is, but it's you got a really tight nut. <laughs> I know you do. Um, then you have to get a, you know, essentially you want to get a, a longer 
extension on your ratchet so that you can get a lot of torque out of it. And, and so anyway, I had to get all this and finally able to get the fill plug off, put the transmission fluid in. We were actually about a quart and a half low. And, um, and we were able to drive it around again, even though it still really shifted badly <coughs> at low gears. So the question is, do we leave tomorrow morning and drive with this thing back to Minnesota? I mean, it's a 16-hour drive with a bad transmission. You know, last thing we want to do is get to the middle of Illinois and have it break down. Um, by the way, if you're curious, I'm sitting in the bathroom. There's Beth over there. Um, and um, um, you know, get in the middle of Illinois and have this thing completely stop working. I know reverse works, so I can always back home if we had to. Um, maybe you think that's a good idea, but me, I guess. Um, but you know, my folks are really concerned, and they're willing, of course, to help out if we need to buy a new car. So Beth and I actually went to a place called CarMax, and there's, they have them all over the states, about a hundred and some odd locations. And what they are is they have a, you know, they're kind of a no-haggle place. They, they'll give you an estimate for your car, and they'll, they'll literally buy it for that amount right then. They'll give you a check. Um, and then the amount, the estimate on there, or the price that's on the vehicles they're selling is the price. They don't lower it. They don't haggle. They don't, you know, so they'll take your car off your hands and give you this one for that price. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's nice because it's not like you're going to get the best deal in the world, but you're not going to get screwed either. You know, it's a reasonable deal, and, and that's what they're basing their business on. That's how they, you know, they've, they've built their businesses on this. We'll give you a reasonable deal for a reasonable car. And um, so we were looking at Sienna's, and I think you guys have a Sienna, right? Um, but the problem was, man, I mean, they, they all, all, all the ones they have are just, you know, a couple of years old and maybe 50,000 miles on it. Um, but the problem is, like, 16 grand or 17 grand, and it's like, I just, you know, I hate to spend $17,000 on a six-hour notice. Um, the Beth and I went up, and we talked to the guys, and we looked at the cars, and, you know, but we all, but also, the other problem is leaving our car here, the title's in Minnesota, blah, 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 blah. So, um... And actually, that's when I called Sarah. I don't know if Sarah told me. She talked to me just briefly here about an hour ago, but she did. And um, and I called Brad, and I asked him what he thought. And he actually had great suggestions. And Brad, if you're watching this, I, I tried that suggestion, which was, he said, to take it and pull it all again in first gear manually. That way, it won't shift up until I shift it up. So what I've done is, if I pull it down to first, I can get going pretty good. And it won't shift. That's great. But the problem is, is if I shift it into second, that's where it misses. So what I've done is I take it and I go in first all the way up to 25 or 30, and then I shift it into third, and it makes that transition pretty good. And then I can go up into fourth when we get going faster because anything more than 40, 45, I'm 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 good. So we can just we should be able to theoretically cruise along at 75 miles an hour um, without too much issue, without too much strain on the transmission, and be able to make it. Uh, of course, we can't stop. Um, but um, you know, that's the plan. So we're moving tomorrow morning at 6. I've got about two and a half quarts of transmission fluid. I've got the tools in the back of the car. I've got the long funnel. Um, of course, the other, the other problem is, is you know, it was 25 degrees here today in Atlanta, uh, 30 maybe at the highest, and it was, already, you know, it was okay out there working on the car, but the last thing I want to do is be out working on that car when it's minus 25, which is what it currently is in Minneapolis. So it's BA cold up there, and um, that's where we're going. So the plan is, is to get home, then we can deal with being home with just my Honda Civic. We can get around with that, and um, and then get the uh, Odyssey, get the transmission rebuilt. We know it's going to cost us a couple of grand. You know what do you do? Hopefully, only a couple of grand, and and then if we can get another. You know, two or three years out of it, then I mean, we've more than paid for it. I mean, if we get nine months out of it, we paid for it. So um, that's our plan, and I guess you'll know more when we get home because I will make video as we go. Um, it's going to be nerve wracking, but I'm really nervous about it. And um, the kids, you know, we we talked to them about it, and they're you know they're okay. So anyway, wish us luck, um, and we will see you on the other side. Hopefully not still dead.